max. Oh wait, with no rage. Up throw, up air. We'll start killing at around 105 on seems normal right. ceiling. Okay, seems about right. So, we, I guess we have something to look forward to should uh, Skunkle ever land a land a grab at kill percent, though that can be kind of hard, given how much time Bayonetta spends in the air. And how much, like, just individual stuff you have to respect. Uh, you have to respect Bats Within, you have to respect up the Outer Shield. I mean, these are these are still good tools. Oh, yeah. But yeah. being small, being small is pretty Which good. Which shield is actually kind of, like, still wild. Yeah, it's not as fast. I mean, good. It's not frame four, it's frame six. But still, that's a frame six out of shield option that starts combos. Like, yeah, you it's still do have to, you do have to pay respect. God, being small yeah. is just such a boon for for any character. And we we're I was talking so much about uh, up throw up air being something to look out for. If Skunkle thinks that Amarillo is going to be jumping out of shield a lot to avoid getting grabbed. Uh, the sweet spot of up that up smash wow. will will be waiting. <laughs> still not yeah, dead. yeah, yeah. That sour sauce forward smash actually was still kind of well. And we got the really strong hit of forward smash again. And uh, as a rough punch tool, especially uh, against the Inkling, character likes to jump a lot, covering a lot of range that forward smash. This time. He, with the, he tried for the runoff fair, but missing the air dodge in with as Skunkle narrowly avoids narrowly avoids what could have been a, a lot more damage as you are dead. Did you live? Yeah. I thought that was As long as you hold on to ABK, you can live a surprising amount of things. And I feel like Bayonetta's either lose their jump and a place you never see or always seem to have it. <laughs> but this is huge now. A fully inked bail, you gotta have to... You have to have to find a starter. But Amarillos is being so evasive. God, where did this match go if you're Skunkle? You started out incredibly strong and are now looking at a greater than one stock deficit. Umi indeed. Throw up there, not gonna do it. Still outside of the percent range, but you do have a little bit of rage now, so that might throw off your throw combo. Not if Amarillo doesn't give you the chance with the what? holding of the up gun. I've never, I'll be honest with you, I've never actually seen anybody get hit by that before <laughs> like i'm i i'm so i don't think i've ever actually seen let's see somebody get hit by that let alone like miss a tech off of it like i, I always thought like when bales did that it was a meme right like i like i knew they could do it like hypothetically right but why would they you mean um, like when they hold it they're just like <laughs> lol get hit by this yeah, well, that, well, that specific one, like that, like yeah. that, that part, really, really, really like, yeah. It's like, <laughs> well, it feels like up, up gun or holding up air would be better than holding neutral air, as like it hits wider. <laughs> yeah. But I don't, I don't but, know. But yeah, but right now, man. Uh, yeah, but right now, um, I'm realist. Taking that game one, snowballed, snowballed it actually. Oh, that weight, that weight, and that whip punish. Man, I feel like there was there was a universe where Skunkle is down a stock. I um, not not yet. <laughs> yeah, there and is. that was there. That, yeah, and that was like. Honestly, half of that, half of that was just a uh, combo video, and it just right now Skunkle, I feel like Skunkle doesn't know how to uh, SD on these combos. So he's going for a lot of air dodges, and when you air dodge against Bale, especially with these combos, you're getting frame trapped. You know, you know what I mean? Like, you're gonna, you're gonna get frame trapped. And... Yeah, 
Where? What are you doing? Throwing out these errant hitboxes yeah. that Amrios is so ready to to witch time. Yeah. And and you know it's just trying to get trying to get Amrilos off of the ledge, and uh, you know splat, splat bomb actually is like a good tool that Inkling can use, almost like pit arrows when they're off stage to get back to center or get just get back to the ledge. But um, thing about Bayo is that she has witch time. It can be like that. Um, just just flip that yellow stick sometimes. It's all you need to do. You're you're trying to punish the lag of my F smash. Well, meet up smash a good sire. Amaros is starting to run away with this game, and yet another starter. <laughs> like very literally, like look, like look at this damage. Like you're, that is that is that is Amaros going for routes that no that that he knows Uncle might not know. But with that being said, catching the runoff stage with a forward smash. Let's see if Uncle get a little bit of momentum going into this stuff. Maybe take the stock under 100. Maybe. Okay. Does he get touched? No, he does not. JV, <laughs> shake my hand. Uh, jeez, uh, slap the hand. That was, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, thanks, yeah, yo, thanks for the follow, Tunic. Um, yeah, that was something. That, that was, was uh, that was a set. That was a slapping. It was a, it was a punch. It was a punch in that final stock, but it. it yeah, I think you're 100% accurate. Like, Skunkle looked like he had a baseline knowledge of the Bayonetta matchup. It's like, oh, man, I need to, like, SDI down and away. Gets me out of some of her combos or yep. most of her most of her basic combos. Uh, I should be trying to stay more grounded if I can. Maybe do some short hops hit around. But then Amaryllis just came out. I was like, okay, but have you seen this one before? Have you seen this one before? Are you prepared for how large my smash attacks are? Are you ready for everything that Bayonetta can do? Or just like what Wi-Fi Bayonetta's do? Can, you DI, a, can you DI this? Probably not.